Hello and welcome to part two of Christian Christian Venom Fang X lying to Christians and atheists by the Stallion seventy six. Uh, James here. So let's hear a bit of more of what he has to say on the matter, and we'll see who is right, who's wrong. Put in our own Christian opinions on uh, his rebuttal to Venom Fang X. And what's the problem with that? There are Christians who have families who are very hardworking and take and don't have the time to do what Venom Fang X has the talent and ability given by God to do. So because they work and these Christians want to do this, but they don't have the ability either by family uh marriage, other commitments, uh, or work, he's asking for donations. Hey, I can be that voice for you guys to people, and you can support me. And I see nothing wrong with that because it's donations. He's not forcing people to watch his channel. Uh, people do it because they want to, and if they want to give don donations, it's up to them. I don't think it's his his thumb is definitely not in his ass as you're saying. He's working hard. He's as from what I know, he's spent a lot of his own time and his own money doing this. Probably more he's doing more work than prob than what he's getting paid for. If we want to take it in wage terms as you're trying to do and He's pouring his heart into this, and you're just going to say his thumb is up his butt? No. Uh, quite simply, you're looking at only what he produces in the video. But there's a lot of his own time that goes into it, and uh, a backstory you don't know about. And a lot of what he does. Some of it he shows, some of it he doesn't. Um, what about... You, don't you sell your uh, CDs? You know, are, are we to say that, well, they shouldn't buy your product. You you just have your, your thumb up your butt all day and make videos attacking Christians. Judge yourself by your own standards. And spew out this Bible. And you claim that atheism is easy. Most people from all different religions as well as non-believers agree that Christianity is the pretty easiest religion out there. Well, I would have to disagree. And not everybody who says to Jesus, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but do the will of the Father who is in heaven. And he will say to them plainly, I never knew you, you who do evil. A Christian who just arbitrarily accepts evil and does and participates in it because they think, whoa, Jesus will just forgive them, has absolutely missed the point. God's grace on the cross of Jesus offering salvation is a last chance for each individual. He gave us a consciousness. We have rebelled against it. Second chance is Jesus Christ. The Bible says from there's no scripture justification that we can just say, oh, well, Jesus died for my sins, so I can do whatever I want. From Genesis to Revelation, you will not nor ever find a verse that uh, supports that idea. In fact, you find the complete opposite in the book of Hebrews. Uh, and I believe it's Romans. We find that the writers, uh, particularly Paul, is saying that we are worse off than the unbeliever if we trample over the grace of God. And so it's a lot harder for the Christian to resist evil and to go against the patterns of this world. The atheist falls right into it and can just go along with things. There's no walks that you have to take. There's no rituals that you 
Right, because we are not a cult. We do do spiritual things to meditate. Uh, baptism, for example, is us being buried and killing our old self and rising up to new life in Christ. The communion is us remembering Jesus pouring out his blood for us and giving his life so that we might take part in his salvation and him his body being broken for us that he teaches that when you hold on to your life that's how you lose it when you try to get yourself eternal life and try and hold on to your life so hard you in fact lose it trying to do that it's only when you give your life away that you truly find it and so we follow his example now not of course not everybody does that but then again not everybody who says to him, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Now, on top of this, we we don't have rituals because, and I know that the church hasn't followed this at her best throughout the years, is that people should make the decision on their own whether to follow it or not. There's the first state, you have to distinguish that there's Christians that are in the first stages, that are baby Christians, that don't know the word very well, don't know why things are wrong, don't know why we reject it, evil, and haven't looked deeply into it. But you should never let that show you what a true Christian is. Even myself, I'm a young Christian, but I know why I can see, you know, perhaps I have the gift of uh prophecy or or no not prophecy i'm thinking of discernment that if we allow something now that's evil it can produce fruits you know you're planting a seed of of course all the evil things atheists are for i've noticed same sex marriage abortions the most liberal uh you know tolerance view i've ever seen and super tolerance has now masqueraded itself under the name of tolerance by the way uh and many other things like that that, that it just degrades human value and human life and of course this is what you want to teach that we are nothing but animals and that i'm no much even though you might say you have morality if there's no moral objections, then that means it's subjective. And in order to have moral objectivity, God must exist. If moral objections do not exist, then God does not exist. And most athe atheist philosophers would agree with me upon this. So therefore, there, on, on the atheistic worldview, there's nothing really wrong with me going out and getting drunk and puking all over myself. There's nothing really wrong with me going and raping somebody. There's nothing really wrong with me going out and murdering somebody. They might be social taboos. They might not be acceptable. But there's nothing really objectively wrong with it. But the fact is, there is. And deep down, we all know it. It's things like self-sacrifice, love, forgiveness, mercy, generosity are really good. And things like rape murder and lewd behavior are really wrong they're disruptive to people's lives and they affect not only our own lives in a negative way but also the lives of those around us